shit. This is a cemetery, believe it or not. Dude, we couldn't get lucky enough for just like the devil to pop out at us out of the woods, could we? Like Bigfoot or something. As you can see, this cemetery is not very well taken care of. The only thing creepier than coming out here during the day is coming out here at night. I've been to a few graveyards in my life, but I've never seen one like this. The gravestones go off into the trees. There's sinkholes, literally where the coffins have caved in. The little white pipes are where bodies are buried. There's trees and branches laying all over this place. And literally, I don't know if you can see this, like this sinkhole here, there's a few of them out here. I wouldn't want to step into it. I would assume this would be what you would call a mass grave. Either that or they just don't know where the people are right in here. That grave was dated 1843. I don't know, I think maybe the newest grave I've seen in here was the early 1900s. More what I assume are graves. That's what I've always been told. White pipe and a rock. That's why I choose to be cremated. I think it would really suck for this to be your last resting place. Your final remembrance. A white pipe. Not classy. Although it looks peaceful enough, doesn't look like a lot of people come out here and bother you. And these go on a good ways out into the woods. Years ago when I used to come out here, there were gravestones here, but they were just smashed to pieces just rocks. You pick them up and put them together like a puzzle. Metal gravestone. Now that was a smart person. I don't think I've ever noticed that one before. We're deep in the woods now. 
another pipe, another rock. This is still a gravestone or a graveyard, keep in mind. I don't know how many places there are like this where people are buried. But it's really kind of sad. This is literally someone's grave. Say hi. A beer can. Look at that. What kind of disrespectful bastard? Go ahead and pick that up and carry it out with us. We'll throw it in the trash. really doesn't do this place justice. It is creepy as hell. In the graves, they don't sit right with the world. I don't, don't know if you know what I mean, but if you ever go to a graveyard, there's a uniformity to them. They're basically all the same. These are backwards. Um, I believe the way that the graveyards are laid out now pretty much anywhere is your head is laid to see the sun rise where you would be facing the sunrise but Mr. M. Falks really? I bet he caught hell for that in 1800 Mr. M. Falks um, he's faced away from the sun these grave markers, I have never seen anything like this. I don't... Dude, I've been in this graveyard a hundred times and I've never noticed this. Have you? I noticed them the other night. That they were sitting at this angle? Yeah. That is friggin' awkward. Although, when you come in here at night and you stand in front of them, you're a bit disoriented. But, this would be straight on. This is how they should be sitting, but they're sitting at an angle. I'm just not up to getting the tigger or tigger, chigger or tick bites to go any further down in there. But as you can see, one day soon, maybe on Halloween night, we'll come up and visit this graveyard again. And we'll see what it's like. Right here is completely unmarked, and I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it is in the shape of what would be a coffin. And if you step on it, it's really spongy. There's a lot of things like that in this graveyard that are just really, really creepy. A time or two. Either the spirits of the dead enjoy a really cheap beer, or there are some drunks that hang out here. Go ahead and pick that can up for me too, buddy. Doing our part. Nice. They were nice enough to keep the top of it together. This is Ella Emmert.
She expired in 1879. Yeah, we could do this all day. Literally. Again, these are sitting a little closer to the way the world should be sitting, but if they were sitting straight, they would be at this angle. And these are facing the opposite way of the ones that are down there. I don't know. I never had the energy to look up when there was a uniformity to, to the way people were buried. Oh, dude, check this out. Now that's just got awful. Here's a grave. Looks like an animal from digging under the tombstone. There's a tombstone. I don't know if you can see that. If it... There's a hole down toward the grave. <sighs> Definitely getting cremated. Here's another one. I don't, it's hard for me to tell if you can get the perspective to see the sink that it's sunk in. I know that happens. That's what happens with rocks. Or, I mean, that's what happens with old graves. But most places have the decency to fill it back in. I wonder if that was a grave or someone was bored. That hasn't, that hasn't been here since the 1800s. That's made of plastic. Much like the tubes that they have jammed in. Dollar store tag on it? Dollar store tag on it? Yeah, they didn't, they didn't boat over here from the dollar store. 1889. Hey, it's a Samuel. There are many dudes buried in this cemetery. More sinkholes. Watch your step there. Look at the way that one's aimed. Here's where the sun comes up. Here's where the sun goes down. Here's the way this is aimed. Then here's the one behind it, aimed in a completely different direction. Agnes Williamson, another sinkhole. Big sinkhole. And we could keep going, but we've been at this for 13 minutes, and I know this doesn't hold the usual YouTube viewer's interest for more than three. Hey, look, there's a modern-looking graveyard or gravestone. That's a good one to go out on. 1869. He must have had, or they must have had family, because that's a fairly modern looking gravestone. It's the only one in the graveyard. I don't even want to know what's under here. They cut down a tree since this thing. For all we know, Frankenstein's monster is buried underneath this rock. That was our visit to the graveyard. Hope you had fun.